Um, they also had these sable brushes on sale. And uh, I thought I'd pick one up. Uh, so it was on sale for 10 bucks Canadian. Normally it's 15. In fact, I'll do with this tube. Can't get rid of it, it's tubular. Um, so the first thing, we compare it to my other brush, which will be out of focus, I apologize, but it is longer. This, what I've been using recently, is this um, Aqua Elite from Princeton. It is actually a synthetic brush. I know. Uh, I am a big uh, Kalinske Sable or Nothing kind of painter, but I was curious to try them. They're supposed to be a specifically an imitation brush, a synthetic brush that is like Sable. And I have to say, yeah, they're pretty close. Uh, this one's got a little bit of curl. It's got some bristles that are coming out. I can trim those bristles. It's mostly still there. I've been painting a lot of stuff with it and they've lasted a long time. Uh, I have an issue with, um, yeah, compared to these, these are sharp art brushes. It's quite, quite noticeably longer, but these ones, no, these aren't even the same size, so that's not a good comparison. Let's find two of the same size, okay. These ones are great, and they, they hold the point. This one's getting a little bit rough. Uh, and, but the, the point wears down. I find all Kalinske Sables, the point wears down after a while, just just from the friction of painting. Um, so that's why I've been looking for synthetics that will actually go the distance. Uh, so I'm curious about this. The holes are big enough on this. Yeah, it's fine. I'm curious on this. One thing that is quite obvious is the the it's very fat here, which is fine. It feels good. It doesn't have a very long body. Right? It's pretty much straight to the taper. Uh, I bought a number two because I like big brushes and I cannot lie. So I have a number two. It's basically the only size I use. Of course. Sizes differ across makers. Uh, I kind of like the wood. I don't know if this is actual wood or some sort of finish uh, paint. Uh, the bottom is a little bit scuffed. And anyway, that thinks that maybe, yes, this is actually wood. But it is a beautiful wood. Uh, which seems kind of crazy to use that for brushes. <laughs> but uh, there you go. So yeah, I gotta work it out a little bit. Uh, a lot of brushes come with something on the bristles. You're usually water soluble, some sort of soap or a wax that keeps the bristles together in shipping and kind of hides. Now, pre-COVID, uh, when I would go to the, the store, I would get a little spit on my thumb, put it on my thumb, and then I would just make sure that the tip just at moist holds together somewhat. So this one definitely, yeah, I think it just needs, I, I'm going to step away from a second. You're going to hear some running water. I apologize, but I'm going to actually wash this brush because it still feels like there's something in the bristles, uh, specifically in the the core section. Because one of the things that for me is important about a Kalinske Sable is that yes, it has a fine tip, but uh, it has good pressure sensitivity so that um, when you're painting lightly, you have a nice fine tip, but when you put a little bit more pressure, um, it'll, it'll go out to a nice even width. And it will maintain that even with, you know, at that pressure pretty well. So you can, you can really just by controlling your pressure, control how wide your line is, which is excellent. You don't need to be switching around brushes, but it's also very important for 
painting larger areas because you want it to, to make a nice wide stroke for you. So this definitely for me, I feel like uh, too short a body, a little bit better, but uh, yeah, I don't know. So in a comparison, I've got this brand new Game MB brush, never used. can see that it has a longer belly uh, it's a it's also a two I believe yeah it's the biggest one they have uh, I find it's almost a little bit small it's got a longer belly but it has it's not as wide in the belly so this one doesn't taper as severely as this one and when you stroke it you can see how it it goes out to make a nice wide line. I mean, it also has a bit of residue, but it goes out to make a nice, wide, consistent stroke, whereas this one, you know, it doesn't feel like that. It is, it is definitely for just fine lines. We already got some spray, splay happening. I don't know if you can see that. Let me move, let me bring in my background. I haven't picked my paints yet, so we'll have to move this, but I think it'll help. So it's, it's already got a few bristles kind of coming out. So yeah, well, we'll give it a try. Uh, we'll see how it handles. This is my last game MV brush. When I start using this, I really need to order some more, but I just, uh, and not, not, none of these were colors, um, Red Dragon, Game MV, none of them are sponsors. I did stick their sticker on my wet palette though. Uh, they're not sponsors. Um, I really honestly don't have um, the, the the viewers, the traffic, the, I don't have the juice for a sponsor. There's there's no reason to sponsor it. And, and honestly, you know, if Game Envy is sitting here being like, oh, wow, that's very nice things you said about my brush. Just to be clear, I think your paint, your holders are over-engineered compared to just M&M mini containers and I've hot glued a, a washer to it and I magnetized my dudes for, for storage. So they just stick it. And I think like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's just one of those things, uh, you know, there's, they're not bad, but it's a lot of plastic that I think people definitely don't need those. If they want them, if they like them, great. But as a, as a thing, you know, um, okay. This brush feels funny. Okay, if you are mixing paints, piece of advice is if you're mixing a light color, start with your lightest color. All right, let's see. We'll see how this goes. So one of the things I was doing the other day, which was yesterday, is I add some medium to the paint so that this color is not that strong. It'll, it'll go on looking pretty strong, but it won't dry as strong. Also, don't be afraid of it. All right, well, that's maybe a little much. I can always go back and touch up.
now I go into focus mode and I stop talking as much. It's interesting. You kind of get used to a brush, I have to say. Because this, this wide belly, you feel I can't get as close here. That's not bad. The other day I had some trouble because I was kind of all over the place. This caused me to miss some things. We're going to slow down a bit today. Make sure we get everything. Yeah, I will most likely stand them up. Most likely need to go back with the black. Probably in a glaze. And fix up some of these areas. Because now I'm going a little bit over. That's okay. So, this is not my first time streaming. I've streamed in the past. And I never really got the traction I was hoping for. So, I gave up. Sorry to say. Basically, it became uh, a friction that was preventing me from painting. Painting is my favorite thing. And if something stops me from painting, it's got to go. So I gave up on streaming, but I also ooh, it's fine. So feel compelled to teach. You can see that's right under his gun. Um, so. up the mantle again and I've been back for I don't know a week I guess this is I think my fourth or fifth stream but I've been there in the past and there are things which I think are kind of important you want success in streaming now honestly could not be bothered to do those things. Basically, I just wanted to stream when I was painting and have some people come and keep me company. If I had just a handful of regular viewers, I think I would have kept going. Having all these extra bristles coming off the brush. Trying to be precise is not very nice. Um, I get really annoyed at them, I'll trim them. Anyway, so I'm back. Back streaming. And I, as much as I refuse to do the things, and the thing is basically to advertise a certain amount and um, stream consistent, start consistent, end. And I think, I think 
two hours or so is kind of the amount that you need to do. Minimum. There's some debate how much more you need to do, but I definitely feel like I was not growing partially because I was only streaming for an hour. tells me I need to succeed. I've been looking at things to do to improve. And one of those things was having topics that you talk about so that you keep a consistent chatter, if you will throughout your stream so that as people join if no one's talking or if they're if no one's in there and you're just talking to yourself they'll be more compelled to stay whereas if you don't talk they're more likely just to bounce okay there's like an extra to turn on my music. Nice to have something in the background. And also, even if I'm constantly yammering, if my headset doesn't hear anything for a while, it turns off. Or if it doesn't play anything, sorry doesn't care if I'm talking, it only cares if it's talking. So, I play some music. Oh, this brush. <laughs> well, you can't say I'm not giving it a fair shake. Oh, I didn't put my thing back. sort of my photography background that I use but I find maybe not as much for these guys oh god that brush look at that that's garbage that's garbage Gah. garbage So, um, brushes are made from natural hair, and they will have good brushes and bad brushes. But, for pretty much any amount of money, I expect you to locate the bad brushes at your factory and not sell them. Fair. It's like I like a good scotch and single malt scotches can be expensive. The expensive ones aren't harder to make but 
they make a lot of scotch that is not that good and they don't sell it or they sell it as a cheaper one which is fine too right they put it in the blend it doesn't meet their specifications they put it in the blend otherwise they sell it there's your single malt scotch that's fine right like you're paying for that this, this brush is normally 15 bucks and if it comes like that no no it's not worth it oh, literal garbage I'm not supposed to check my stats, but I'll just, yeah, okay. <sighs> the life of a bad streamer. Oops. We go back to the synthetic brush, which honestly, the synthetic brush was the price of a Kalinsky Sable. <laughs> 